Hello friends and welcome to Goblin Talks. You're going to notice a bit of a whirring sound in the background this time around. There's fans under the studio, a pipe burst. So that's going to be a thing. I'm sorry. We can't avoid it. So anyways, getting on to today's topic, we are going to talk about self-improvement. I think every human being that's thinking about themselves has something they want to change about themselves. It could be anything. It could be being more confident. It could be being more assertive at work. It could be being a better partner. There's all sorts of different things that we could consider and want to improve about ourselves. And I think that's very normal. We have a society that tells us to love ourselves, and I'm great with that. I think we all should love ourselves. But I think with that comes the understanding that to truly love ourselves, we need to figure out what's bothering us and then work on it. You know, so that could be any number of things. It could be, let me be more social. And when you approach that problem, I think a lot of people are inclined to think to themselves, well, I'm gonna just stop being shy. And we think we can just do that immediately. To give it a juggling context, I would say it's like this. You're sitting here and you're doing cascade and this is how you normally are. I'm a cascade pattern. But then one day you say to yourself, well, wouldn't it be cool if I were Mills Mess? And then as humans, I think we expect to immediately be like, oh, I'm Mills Mess now. I'm no longer shy, I'm now confident, and I'm ready to do the thing. Let's get out there and meet some people. But humans don't work that way. We learn to be a certain way that's not normal to us through practice, right? Whether that be more confidence or to hold our tongue more and think more about what we're gonna say. For everybody, it's a different thing, but we have to spend time and effort to learn it. We can't just think ourselves there. It's a practice game. So my encouragement to you as you think about that goal you have, that person you want to be, is not to think of it as a quick and immediate process. We're not looking to run a mile today. We're looking to run for, I don't know, two or three minutes. And then maybe sometime next month, we're going to run a mile. But I think we need to take baby steps. I think it's very uh, common for humans to think to themselves, well, I can just do this thing right now, and I don't think we work that way. It's like juggling. If you immediately say, oh, I want to learn to juggle, show me Mills Mess, and try and dive right into this, you're never going to get it. Well, you might eventually, but it's going to be a way longer road than if you say, okay, let me start slow. Let me learn to throw one ball. Okay, starting to learn this, let me learn to throw two balls. Okay, this is better now. I'm going to throw three. And then you get into your cascade and you work your way steadily towards the goal that you have. So I really encourage you to think about that as you make goals for yourself, whether that be physical or mental. Take it slow, be patient with yourself, and be willing to forgive yourself. I think that's another thing we don't do enough of, is we decide we want to be a certain thing, we want to work out every day, or we want to be confident, and we don't take the time to say to ourselves, well, okay, yesterday didn't go quite so well, but that's all right, I got today. Instead, we give up immediately because we failed. It's like quitting smoking. If you give up as soon as you have a cigarette, once you quote, quit smoking, you're never gonna quit. You're always gonna end up back at that thing again because you gave up on yourself. So please go out there and give yourself a chance and just go for it. And if you make mistakes, be okay with that. Drop the ball and come back and do the thing again anyways because you didn't really lose anything. You can drop another one. It's going to be all right. Anyways, thank you for joining me. This has been Goblin Talks. I hope you will come see me again soon. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube. I guess you can even follow me on Twitter. But just come hang out with me. I'll give you lots of good stuff to think about. Have a good one.